Good evening. I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. We begin tonight with the latest on the situation in and around East Palestine. Today, a group of federal officials were in town, including two U.S. senators, a congressman, and a member of the president's cabinet. Dave, you were also there. It's getting crowded in the city, the village, let me tell you. There are three parts here. The damage, the cleanup, the recovery. And the EPA administrator was in town to address water and air quality. A bold declaration from the U.S. EPA administrator. I want the community to know that we hear you, we see you, and that we will get to the bottom of this. Michael Regan's visit to East Palestine included going into Christina Ferguson's home and watching an air quality test being done. She's still evacuated until learning more about the air and water quality. Their experts have to vouch for themselves. It's up to the EPA to convince these people that they're giving them the accurate information when they say their air is clean and their water is clean. The EPA said 500 home tests have not shown any harmful pollution, that the village water supply is safe too. It still recommends bottled drinking water if your well hasn't been tested. Everyone has called this derailment a disaster and finding the answers to certain questions also difficult. Um, there's a lack of trust. There's a lack of trust of the EPA, of government. We know that. Um, there's also a lack of trust of Norfolk Southern. I'm here in part today to try to bridge that and begin to deliver for this community. All the politicians went to the crash site and saw the burnout location, too. Work continues to get rid of all the chemicals from the ground and the water. Work is being done. Everyone just wishes it could be faster. We're going to see progress every single day, but like the administrator said, uh, you know, we're going to stay here until it's done. We're going to look at every aspect that needs to be tweaked so that we can be sure that nothing like this ever happens again. There were also many more promises of holding Norfolk Southern accountable and also some cautions and warnings for people who may be getting offers of money to be very careful before signing any documents when accepting that money to be sure you're not giving up legal rights for damages.